Now I went ahead and clicked on portrait in the top right hand corner of my photo suite and the first thing it did is it recognized all of the facial features. So I'm going to go ahead and click inside the green outline right here to make sure it did a good job with that facial recognition. The facial feature points are in place, but I can tweak them if I need to. I'm going to go ahead and click on hide controls right here so that I don't need to look at them while I edit. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, and I'm going to make sure that not skin is selected right here under mode. Then I'm going to paint over the eyebrows to make sure that they aren't softened with the rest of the skin. Now that I've done that, on the right hand side, I'm going to go to my skin retouching panel. I'm going to take my shine slider and I'm going to move it up a little bit. And then I'm also going to take my evenness slider and move that up a little bit as well. There's enough smoothing on her skin for me, but if I wanted to add more, I could do that as well. Next, I'm going to go down to my mouth and eyes panel right here. I'm going to raise the detail of the eyes quite a bit so that they really start to pop more. I'm also going to raise the vibrance of the lips. This will help when I change this to a black and white because it will make them a lot darker. Last, I'm going to go over and I'm going to select my retouch brush. I'm just going to go ahead and go through the rest of my image to make sure that I've gotten rid of any extra blemishes that might be there that the blemish slider didn't remove. I can also get rid of any wrinkles that I don't want to be there and I can get rid of any under eye bags if there's anything I don't want to be visible. Now once I'm done, all I need to do is go ahead and press apply and it'll pop my portrait back into perfect layers.